Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to be focusing on picking a domain name and designing the logo. Uh, I'm going to completely scrap the idea in the introductory video uh, about creating like a web app that's based around connecting communities and neighbors or whatever. I'm going to scrap that idea because my wife had mentioned to me last night that people are increasingly using Facebook as a way to barter. So bartering, of course, for example, you know, let's say, for example, I needed a refrigerator fixed. Well, I could go ahead and mention uh, any type of products or services that I would be willing to exchange uh, in order to have somebody who's skilled in appliance repair fix it. So basically, it's, it's a way to attain a service or a product without actually paying cash for it. All right, so bartering, you know, it's real big. I think it would be cool to have a web app or a website dedicated specifically towards that goal. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. All right, so I already came up with the name, the name and I'm going to go over in, in a little bit about how I chose that name and what site that I used to help pick the name. And that name is going to be barterful.com, kind of like beautiful except barterful.com. All right, so you're going to also uh, pick your own name, and it could be something similar or not. It could be complete, completely different. Uh, but, yeah, I'll stop rambling. So, uh, yeah, if you haven't yet, check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so if you're trying to come up with a domain name, uh, I, a great way or to get started, basically, is to use uh, the thesaurus.com. So we know our website is going to be about bartering, bartering uh, exchanging. So if you just type in barter, it will give you a list of synonyms here as well as antonyms. And this can give you a starting point to begin to start searching for domain names. So over here on this tab, I have a site called bustedname.com and you can check that out. It's slightly different than this page. I and I'm going to use specifically the word maker. And the way I found my name is I, I just typed in barter. And you can set different options here. So you can make domain names that start with or end with this specific word. Uh, make domains that look very natural or less natural, etc. And you can just experiment with these, of course. And you can also limit the characters here as well. So I left it at 10. And I, you can also specify .com, .net, .org. Now, when it comes to uh, the domain name extension, you know there's a lot more than it's just listed here. I, so you're not, you don't necessarily have to use this tool. But I left mine at just .com. So if you hit go here, you can see it's very quick. Uh, and you can just kind of get some ideas if you want to go this type of route. Uh, most of them are going to be just you know, <laughs> they're not going to be good names to choose from. Uh, but one that I found that stuck out well for me is was barterful.com. So if you click on this, it'll show you, you know, the different pricing and you can use whatever host you want to use. Um, I actually registered this already. So that is now my domain name. All right, and so this is just a temporary um, landing page that the host sets up uh, for a new site. So, you know, when it comes to choosing a domain name, it's always a good idea to kind of uh, go to Google and just type in the name uh, and see if anything else has ever, you know, come up. So, Barterful. And so what I saw was very interesting is introducing barterful.com so this is already a website that somebody let expire which is completely okay and i i did some more research on this and this was basically a, uh, a college project uh, that was started last year but they obviously didn't care about it so they let it expire all right so that's no big deal um so basically come up with a name i uh, you you don't have to use barter in the name at all you can use anything else that you that might think is relevant i uh, yeah, using the thesaurus or whatever, or you could come up with a name that is completely, you know, just unique in and of itself, like a new word. I mean, it's entirely up to you. So just try to find a name and then just go to one of the reg domain name registrars and register it. And you should probably get away with only having to pay for, well, for example, you just click here and it tells you the domain name prices. So just choose one. It doesn't really matter too much who you use. Um, 
So I use some obscure hose that I started using a long time ago, like 12 years ago. So yeah, any of these will probably be fine. So I uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. And once you have your name chosen, then I uh, that's obviously where the next step comes into play, which is designing the actual logo. So I'm going to do that now because we're going to be working with a different name. I you know, it's kind of open into to interpretation. So, but I, I, I am going to show the actual process of me designing this logo. So I, I'm going to go file new in Adobe Illustrator here. And for the name, I'm just going to call this uh, logo. Number of artboards, I'm going to put to three. And I'm going to take the width. I'm going to use 860. And then the height, I'm going to set at... 600 and that just kind of fills up my current resolution. It's not too important anyhow. So then go ahead and hit OK and If you hit control one, this will take you to a hundred percent view of the first artboard. All right, so Again, my name I for the company is going to be Barterful.com. All right, so if I just type in Barterful, I already found a rounded font that I like, and I'm going to link that in the description if I can remember. Uh, and that is called Station Medium. All right. And real quickly, I'm going to take the, take this character. Uh, it's negative 15 for the uh, tracking. So, all right, right around there. And Control Shift and the letter O will convert those to outlines. All right. So, Basically, the idea I had, uh, I'm not going to create a specific separate symbol. It's just going to be, this is going to be a word mark. And the idea I had is uh, the idea of bartering, for example, that's basically to exchange or to connect with people. So I figured out a way that we could just real quickly represent that in an abstract manner. So if I take these here and right, uh, left click them and hit ungroup after right clicking, each individual letter now is independent um, from the other ones. And basically, I just wanted to kind of create a connection or a flow between these two letters and then also between the E and the R here. All right, so we're going to use the pen tool. And I'm going to come over here, and it's not going to have a fill. It's going to be a stroke. Let's choose black. And I'm going to just start out at 10 points for the stroke width and just see if this lines up. So I'm going to zoom up a little bit closer here. And just for this, the purpose of this tutorial, it doesn't have to be perfect, but 10 points seems to work pretty well for, the, for matching the thickness of the letter. So I'm just going to leave that over here. And I'm going to take the pen tool again. And I'm going to start right around here, and then I'm going to connect it near the center of this point by left-clicking and dragging right around there. So now we could take the direct selection tool up here and move around these oops, move around these individual points as needed. And down here, we can adjust just some, the goal here is, yeah, right there looks pretty good. You could probably play around with this a little bit more to make sure it's, everything's even. And then I'm also going to take it and then control C and control F to, to duplicate that. And come down here, get my layers out, drag this one beneath, make it, make the stroke here, or actually go back to gradient and select, uh, we'll make it white. And then just use my arrow keys. What I want to do is take this in. And that way we create some separation there. All right, and then I'm going to take those two and let me get my layers out again. Control C and Control F and move those over. And this isn't going to line up perfectly. So 
zoom up here. All right, and then I'm going to take this uh, direct selection tool. Also, I'm going to come over here with the remove tool, select it, hit stroke, and then make the cap rounded. All right. And I'm going to take the pen tool. I'm going to click on this. Just try to kind of match it so that it looks like it's flowing into the R correctly. This needs moved. And I'm going to add an anchor point here. Let's see. Take a left click, drag out, select add anchor point. I think right around here. Take the um, direct selection tool. Try to make this flow in a little bit more evenly. All right, that's a little bit better because you want this to kind of flow naturally. And uh, I think that's good for now. There is a little bit of an edge here, but I can fix that after we convert these here. I think same thing with over here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, delete this one and I'm going to just select everything and go to object, path, and outline stroke. So that basically takes any strokes that are in the selection and outlines them. So now it's no longer a stroke that we can modify. Uh, so also we want these to be more even in terms of the space after this little swoosh, which that just eyeballing it looks pretty decent. So then what we want to do is take both of those layers by holding shift and left clicking, go to window, we'll go to pathfinder, and then we will select this one right here. Now that just basically makes this portion invisible or transparent and same thing right there. All right, so now if I hit control one, I pretty simple. The idea is just conveying, you know, in an abstract way, a connection between two entities. So I, uh, I like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, depending on whatever name you have, you can try to do the same thing if you want uh, or not, no big deal. So uh, yeah. Um, so now what we need to do to is to consider color. So color psychology is very important. Um, there's, if, if you do a Google search, you can research different colors and their meanings. Uh, so I've, I found one just real quickly and I've uh, paused it and I have uh, up here, I mean, if you go to Google images and you can really just find some quick references. Uh, and also I'd suggest searching the web and really getting a strong understanding of what the uh, each c colors tend to mean uh, and reflect. So. Uh, our, our site obviously is about money or saving money uh, by bartering, which is a great thing. So I'm going to use a green color, uh, life, growth, nature, money, freshness. And then also, you know, you can also mix in other colors and make something like a green, yellow, or more on the yellow side. And so intellect, friendliness, warmth, uh, the friendliness is what I want to really emphasize as well. So I'm going to take a color here. So I'm going to select everything and let me switch back to our foreground here. Control H to get rid of the outlines. And basically, if I double click over here, we can see uh, if we go in this middle range between the green and the yellow, hit OK. I think that's a little bit too, there's not enough contrast. I'm going to go slightly darker. I think right around there is okay. And so that's just going to be the very simple logo uh, along with the color that we're going to use. So the reason I created two other artboards is just to copy this and move this over. This will be a black version right here. And then down here we can have a white version, which will be used on darker backgrounds. So just make that white. You don't really want to put a background behind it because uh, when you go to open it in a different application like Photoshop, it won't be transparent. And there we go. So now you just want to save this. Sorry, I had to pause that real quick. I did want to mention another thing also. Um, if you did want to, if you don't yet have a host, uh, 
basically I'm going to link here to one in onecom They're a well-known host and also a domain registrar. So you can have both your domain registration and hosting here if you want. And there is an affiliate ID. I set up an affiliate account with them a long time ago, like six years ago <laughs> because I wrote a tutorial. And so I was basically advising people to, you know, who want to host go there and I get a small commission every time somebody, you don't have to use it with the affiliate ID, you know, no big deal. Um, but yeah, this is just, uh, they're a pretty popular host. Uh, the domain registration is very cheap, I believe. Um, obviously you just click on domains and you could do a search and you can register real quickly. And also the hosting, let me check out the hosting here. Uh, click on view packages. They're all like really cheap. Um, like starter, like <laughs> only 99 cents. I, that would be, I wouldn't even mess with that. I'd probably, what would be sufficient is probably this five ninety nine a month or this ten ninety nine one a month. And so if you're serious, you know, about doing web development or, or web design of any sorts, then yeah, you should definitely have a hosting account. So this is just one site you, you can check out and you don't have to do it right now. You don't have to register the domain right now. Um, although if enough people are watching this, you guys might, uh, <laughs> it, I wouldn't wait too long to register any domain name that you have. Um, but for the web hosting, you know, you can wait for that if you want. We're not going to be doing any file uploading, you know, in the, in the next couple days, I don't think. So yeah, you have time. Um, so yeah, once you have your, uh, your logo, um, you're good to go. I in tomorrow we're going to begin. We're going to go into a Photoshop and begin designing a mock-up. I believe for like a landing page. All right. Uh, all right. So yeah, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet, and subscribe here on YouTube. All right. Goodbye.